say they're dedicated to helping the community after Hurricane Michael, and they're aware that housing remains one of the biggest challenges. Through a new FEMA trailer program, Panama City is getting more trailers for those who still need temporary housing. But as News 13's Kelly Grossfield tells us, they've also approved a resolution extending how long you can stay in those trailers. At Tuesday's commission meeting, two items on the agenda, both pertaining to FEMA trailers, were the center of discussion. Item 5C extended the one-year deadline for temporary FEMA trailers. That means the more than 300 trailers placed at group sites along with those trailers on private property can now stay until April of 2020 instead of having to be removed later this year. Well, it gives them an extra, you know, there's an extra six months there to be able to get their house finished. It gives them an extra six months to create a housing solution. Panama City Mayor Greg Bernicki says originally the deadline was a year from the day Hurricane Michael hit, but since trailers weren't placed until February, he felt it was right to extend the deadline. But that's not all. The city also recommending to FEMA that unused trailers still be distributed to those who are in need of temporary housing. With the unused trailers that we saw in the travel trailer uh, program and the group sites, that there would be an opportunity for them to donate them back essentially to the city so that we could help meet the needs of our citizens. And rather than dealing with FEMA, the city will run the process of trailer approval. It's a first come, first serve, first qualified. They just need to call the city of Panama City, call our housing department. Mr. Michael Johnson is our director there and he'll be glad to uh, help them in the process. Most of their requirements are going to be similar. But then, you know, there's going to be some that I'm sure that are going to be more lenient because we've obviously got people that are going to qualify for ours that didn't qualify for FEMA. Kelly Grossfield, News 13, Panhandle Strong.